Well, hello, my YouTube friends and family. So today's flip through is California. This is what the cover will look like. This is what the bead on the paper clip for decoration. These are kits for journalers who do signatures pretty much, or you can use it for whatever you want. It's for a fundraiser. These are posted in my Etsy store. The reason why I have them posted separately is because they all weigh different because some got more than others. And it's for a fundraiser for kids in a backpack program locally that I'm raising money for. My goal is $200 or more, you know, but $200 is my goal. And so this is what you get. You get the state of California. It's a vintage type mat. These come out of a 1962 encyclopedia set. And I have been doing videos of the other states that I have posted if you're interested. So this is the California pages I got. These were uh, dictionaries, or encyclopedias, I mean, that came into my bookstore that, uh, I'm doing this backwards, that needed recycled. So I decided to go ahead and do this with them and do a fundraiser so that they didn't end up in a landfill. I thought it was a neat idea. And I told the story at the very beginning about how my sixth grade teacher had us do this. You can pick your own state, a state you want to visit, and just turn it into a journal. Or a picture book, or whatever you want to utilize it as. Me, I'm going to use mine as a little traveling journal type deal. So those are black and white pictures. And then we have these facts about California and from 1962. And this will all come included because I wanted to get you guys started on what goes in them. And then we'll do this first. The little California name. A couple tickets. California Republic. That's the flag. And then a little postcard I made from paper. A little world map from paper. A couple vintage style envelopes that I made out of paper. And then here's a tag with map pieces and here's a stamped card of luggage a couple envelopes I made out of parchment paper and then here is from another encyclopedia that needed recycled pieces of ephemera from it there's pictures from California there's a map and there's some facts and there's a map and then more pictures so you can add this to your journal and I'm going to put, well, these can go in here, but I'll put them in after I'm done with the flip flip. So you get this envelope, you get this paper, you get a scenic picture in it, a white paper, a paper to journal write on, papers you can add pictures, you can paint, you can do whatever you want. And turn it into a journal of the state that you pick. About the state that you pick, hopefully. But if not, that's okay. I mean, some people could be interested in a paper pack to do something else with it. And that's fine, too. And here's a couple game pagers. A piece of graph paper. Purple. A, a book, another book. All these are books that needed recycled. I haven't bought a book and just torn it apart yet. Like, brand new. Unless it was falling apart, like I said. Which some do, but I haven't done that yet. Because I have a bookstore, so I always got paper. But here's um, the, the flip through and a food one. I try to stick anything in here, I could think, when you travel. Ledger page. Here's a page you can color on for the center. This is my flip through. And if you're interested, I did drop these down from $22 to $10. So, heck, a person could even buy all of them and tour the whole United States <laughs> and do separate states if they wanted to. Somebody brought that up as a suggestion to me in an email, and I never really thought of that. But the purchase on all in 10 would be $500, which actually takes me to my closer goal 
of 200 but hey, if I make 500 to donate, that's fine too. But my goal right now is $200. I tried to do 100 a year, and last year and this year I've been working on the same donation, so... Two hundred's my goal this year. And then it all fits in here like this. And a nice little handheld journal tape deal. I do have two sets of books also posted in my Etsy. They're actually together. I could split them up if somebody's interested in buying each separate. I had a person that was supposed to buy it and didn't. So I list so they're still listed, but I have a complete Sesame Street set and I have a complete Disney set of books. All hardbacks, all great condition. Each book is two dollars a piece, which I find is pretty reasonable. But the whole set, the both the sets together is like sixty eight dollars, but separating them of course would be cheaper. And I'd have to give you a price if if you're interested. But they are posted there. But right now they're just listed together because that's how the sale was supposed to go. But sometimes people back out, so they're there. But anyways, you guys, please have patience with me on all these videos. I'm uploading per day, but I have to really get through these, and I really wanted people to see what was in each one in case they were interested. And if you can't afford to buy it, hey, every amount helps. Even if a person donates $5, a dollar, whatever. I have a PayPal that I'll be linking below that you can send it to there, too. Right now, as of today, I'm going to try every Friday to let you guys know what the store is actually raising towards this. Because I don't get a lot of customers, because most people shop online nowadays, is um, 80. I had a guy come in and donate some change that took my 79 something that it was last week up to 80 this week. So I am $80 in. So please, please help me get this fundraiser to $200. I need some help with this. And every little bit counts. And I'm hoping to reach this by the end of December. So there's plenty of time. So anyways, with that, you guys have a great day. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. Mwah.